Yo, 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 check, check. See if this microphone is on. Oh, of course it is fucking on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's yours truly, the international treasure, Mr. Brandon Sammy Official. You are watching a stream for the sickest on Twitch. Let's have some fucking fun, right? Let me fucking hear you right now. Oh, yes. Now, please light that comment field on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see those flame emojis. Let me see everything you fucking got. Let's go. Wednesday is the best day of the week, right? Ladies and gentlemen of the world. Oh, shit. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, fucking yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen. It is yours truly, Mr. Brandad Sammy Official, reporting straight out of the very dark and almost winter-esque Yuvaska, Finland, which obviously is the center of the motherfucking known universe, and Mr. The Kimball, you are absolutely fucking correct. It is Mr. Sammy fucking Albana reporting straight out of Yuvaska, Finland. You are watching a stream for the sickest on Twitch once again. We are on our fucking, uh, it's like the 40th week, 50th week, honestly. I feel like I've been here for about a year, but I feel like I've known all of you for all of my fucking life. We got a connection, ladies and gentlemen. All of us have a fucking connection that not everyone understands, and I fucking like it. I love it. I feel privileged that we have this relationship going on on Twitch, and it's always been a fucking blast. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Today is going to be one of the best fucking episodes ever. I guarantee you, one of the best fucking fucking episodes ever and um, first and foremost I want to tell uh, I want to say to everyone who was watching me yesterday thank you so much for watching the the crazy fucking unveiling episode of my new guitar it was uh, for anyone who wasn't watching it and for everyone who was watching it and just doesn't remember what the fuck happened basically we did a cell phone episode I was filming on my cell phone I was super tired because I had just driven uh, to Helsinki and back basically to pick up a couple of guitars and um, I was super hungry, super tired, super like uh, disoriented. So I basically opened the package of the new guitar and then I was cooking. And after we ended the show, I probably ate actually everything I fucking cooked. I was a hungry motherfucker. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we are bigger and louder and faster and everything b bigger than ever, ladies and gentlemen, bigger than ever. I think it's safe to say that a stream for the sickest right as of now is bigger than anything else on the planet bigger than anything else we are all fucking equally famous we are equally large they should be broadcasting this shit on madison square garden they should be broadcasting this all over the world on the moon on mars fucking elon musk grab this fucking shit dm me dude fucking dm me mr tesla okay so ladies and gentlemen I am as crazy as ever, and uh, actually, in just a moment, I will tell you one of the possible reasons why I am fucking crazy today, or actually crazy as of about 10 minutes ago. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, before we get on with the show, before you see the epic fucking intro of a stream for the sickest, I want to ask you, and I want to fucking know, are you fucking ready? Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give me one of those big, fat, and juicy hell yeses in the comment field, which might be there, might be there, might be there, might be there, might be there. could be anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, give me all you fucking got because today is going to be fucking sick. We got all of our people out there. We got all of our people and we have some hell yes is going on. Hell yes, hell yes, hell yes, hell yes. Hell yes, hell yes. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Sammy Official, aka Samuel Banner from Law Society, the local band, and Red Wolf. You are watching a stream for the fucking sickest. Let's go. Boo, 
yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I was so fucking pumped. Honestly, I was going to miss the cue of after the intro because I was reading the Kimball's fucking name suggestion for my new guitar, and I fucking, I'm in love, dude. I'm in love with the guitar, but I'm in love with the fucking name. The Mean Lean Cream Screamer. Dude, that is fucking epic. That is fucking, honestly, you deserve one of these right now, sir. You are a fucking legend. Thank you. Probably, it's, uh, we're not going to name it probably that because it's so many words. Honestly, it's, I, I don't even remember it anymore, but it was fucking dope. Every time I bring it out at a show, that's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to fucking say. Uh, and the Kimball continuing with a very awesome fucking comment. Heard a Red Wolf song on Radio Rock the other day. Dude, that is fucking dope. I honestly did not know that they're playing the songs on Radio Rock. That's really cool. And uh, for those of you who still don't know, the Red Wolf record Sessions Volume Numero Uno is out now. You can fucking listen to it on Spotify, Apple Music. I was going to say Apple Tunes. Apple Tunes, fucking anything. I don't know. So anyway, that's cool. It's cool. Nah, dude, you're not an asshole. Fuck now. Nah. You're not an asshole. You're a legend, dude. You're a fucking legend. And uh, seems like we got a lot of legends in the house. We got Thrash Tony. We got Kurkuma. We got Julian Miller. We got Billy Amianza. We got Vege Verse. We got everyone. We got the homies in the fucking house. We got all of our fucking people. We got Vege Verse who said, damn, you look extra sick today. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. I am feeling so fucking good today. So pumped up. I've been just, I've been jittering the whole goddamn day. And uh, there are two reasons for it. Uh, there's always like a million reasons why I'm happy. Um, and today is basically also going to be like a big ass something sick today episode. It's going to be like the sickest shit today episode. And there's two things. There's two main subjects that I'm going to be talking about and kind of acting out today, which are obviously the things I promised all of you yesterday. So I'm going to be talking a... Tuska Utopia, that's the number one fucking subject, the hottest subject in the world. And number two, <laughs> number two, yeah, fuck me, my new goddamn guitar, the Mean Lean Ice Cream Scream. I honestly, I don't remember what it was, but the Kimball, you had the best name for it. So anyways, today we're going to be listening to some shredding. We're going to be talking about Tuska Utopia, which is a really fucking cool project uh, that I will open up more. I've, I've been talking about it on Instagram and Facebook and and social media, but I will kind of open up the whole idea and the concept with all of you and answer all of the questions that you might have. And um, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, one of the reasons why I might be this crazy right now is I actually fucking ran against the wall, or I didn't run against the wall, but I fucking crashed my head on a wall about 10 minutes ago, and I might actually have some brain damage. I wasn't bleeding, but I'm wearing this, I'm wearing this fucking beanie right now pretty tactically because I have a goddamn bump on my head. I was actually loading the goddamn, um, I was loading the goddamn, uh, what's it called? The, 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 the washing machine fucking don't remember things anymore. I was loading the washing machine. I had a bunch of fucking clothes on the floor. Uh, kneeled down to get them. Then I got up and boom, I fucking hit my forehead on the edge of my wall. And it got, it, it really hurt. It really fucking hurt. And uh, right off the top, you know, I fucking took a picture of myself with my, with my bump on my head. I texted my girlfriend. I was like, look what happens when you leave me alone in the fucking house. She's been gone for like a day and I've already managed to, um, fucking all, cause myself brain damage. Well, I haven't burnt down the place. Hopefully I won't. Usually I take good care of everything, but now I'm kind of fucking broken. It's because my girlfriend is gone. I'm missing her. I'm missing her so much that I'm I'm just devastating myself. I'm breaking myself. And look at my fucking gold chain. I, I always, um, oh, okay, yeah. Because the mirror effect, this is my left, but it's the right of the camera. This is my right. It's the left. Oh, my God. Okay. So let's just let's just call it brain dead. Let's call it fucking literally brain dead. I got it tattooed on myself, and now I'm literally fucking living the, well, not living the dream, but, you know, anyway. Yes, that's, wh that's why my name is brain, dead. brain damaged, brain dead, brain dead beat, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, a rather odd way of starting the episode. But you know what? I don't fucking care. It's my goddamn show. Let's do the intro theme one more time, shall we? Honestly, I, I'm picturing, I'm imagining my fucking neighbor. But there's like one wall between dividing me and uh, 
my neighbor's place, and I bet whoever lives there right now is dialing the cell phones like 911. Or it's not 911, it's 112 in Finland, ladies and gentlemen, because we are not in the States. We are in the center of the motherfucking known universe, which is Finland. It's Uvesco Finland. Uh, so anyway, I can imagine them just dialing fucking 112 going, there's a crazy person next door. There's a fucking crazy person next door. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we have already realized during this episode is that I am brain damaged, I'm brain dead, and I'm fucking proud of it. So ladies and gentlemen, how about we go on with the show? Sorry, that was my nipple. I, I'm, I'm wearing one of my nipple shirts today. It's my artificial shirt, which hopefully soon enough all of you will be uh, be able to buy, actually. Um, first of all, actually, on Saturday, Law Society will be playing two shows. That's Well, that's four, but it's two and two. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be playing two shows on the same day in fucking Tavastia Club. Tavastia Club, the legendary 50-year-old Tavastia in Helsinki, Finland. Seems like Corona isn't getting, like, really much worse right now. I'm gonna knock on wood. But hopefully, if nothing crazy happens, we will be playing two shows on Saturday. The first one will be at uh, 3.30. Sorry, 4.30. No, 3.30 or 4.30. Honestly, I don't even remember anymore. But the first one is in the daytime, and the second one is at 7.30. That one is for sure. And uh, it's going to be two full shows. It's going to be fucking sick. I believe actually both of them are sold out, which is goddamn cool. I've already been preparing the best... Uh, the best kind of crowd hype speak ever. I'm going to say it took a global pandemic and 10 years, but here we are with a sold out crowd at Tavastia. Ladies and gentlemen, how fucking magical is that? So anyways, we're going to be doing that and uh, we're going to have these shirts on sale there. So hopefully uh, anyone who is there will get one. Anyone who's there is get, gonna get one. Uh, Want to read a highlighted message from Julian Millet because highlighted ones kind of catch the eye easier. Sammy, I need help. I always, um, I always fuck everything I do at guitar because I'm very shitty at rhythm. Any advice or stuff or songs to work with, um, dude. Honestly, it's going to sound like a broken record, but practice. Just fucking practice, dude. The metronome is the best thing you're going to ever have, and it's free. You can get one on Google. You can have a physical one. You can have anything. So basically, just turn on the metronome, get a, get a tempo like this, and just go bump, 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 bump. Just paw mute or, you know, do the, the sounds aloud. When I get my guitar, I will demonstrate once more for you, Julian, uh, what you what you want to do. But yeah, fuck yeah, I'm always here to help. I'm always here to help. But I kind of, you know, I sound like a broken record because every time someone asks me what they could do to further their careers in guitar or drumming or bass or anything, it's all the same. It's practicing slowly. That's the only way you're going to get the technique and you're going to get, you know, the, the basis to, to build your whole, you know, whatever the fuck you want to do. So, yeah, I'm always going to be here, always going to be here answering questions uh, related to music and stuff like that. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, because... <laughs> Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to have me for uh, for another 45 minutes. We've already done 15 minutes, which always blows me the fuck away because it feels like um, uh, it feels like I've been talking just for like, well, yeah, it does ta feel like I've been talking for 15 minutes. But time flies when you're having a good time, and I'm always having a good time. And I hope all of you are having a good time with me, ladies and gentlemen, because if you are not, then fuck you. I will not do this anymore. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Law Society happy hour yeah fuck yeah dude it's always this is a happy hour maybe i should start calling this a stream for the sickest happy hour it's fucking sammy albana mr fucking sammy albana happy hour because you have me usually for an hour and i'm always really fucking happy so how about that ladies and gentlemen okay i'm gonna shut the fuck up right now or well, actually i'm not gonna shut the fuck up but i'm going to start talking about cool things really fucking cool things actually and uh, if you are all ready, I will start by talking about the first thing that um, is actually really cool. I just kind of announced it on my own social media yesterday. I believe the program actually announced it a couple of days ago. But yesterday I did my first publication of a little something called Tuska Utopia, ladies and gentlemen. Tuska Utopia. Remember this. Remember those two words, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you the long-ass version of what this whole concept is, uh, where you can watch it 
how much it costs and everything. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I'm going to start talking now. I'm probably not going to see the comments in a while, but after I talk my, uh, you know, after I talk for a long time about this, I will take all of the questions that you might have about Tuska Utopia. Okay, so uh, let me just put this a bit lower so you can see my gorgeous fucking face. Okay, so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Tuska Utopia is a new video program. It's a new video format of a program which mixes a stream concert of Finnish metal bands and uh, a very unique tourist approach to Finland. So basically, there's going to be three episodes of Tuska Utopia coming this year. Mind you, this year. If all goes well, it might continue next year. But this year, you're going to get three Tuska Utopia episodes. Each episode is going to be roughly one hour long. And uh, there is always going to be a band that will play a full-length streaming concert. And I will tell you one, like right off the top, that the the provider of who will be uh, doing all of this is Semi Live, which is the company that streamed the Lost Society No Absolution release show, which obviously was the biggest and the best fucking stream show that Finland has ever fucking done. So you can be sure that each stream show is just you know top of the class. It's a class act, and on top of a full show that uh, a metal band from Finland will be doing at a very special location. There will be myself hosting the kind of tourist approach to, uh, to the episode. So basically, I will be showing you very unique locations all around Finland, and uh, they will usually be the places where the band actually will play the live show. It'll be outside, it'll be in the cold, it'll be in the dark, it'll be fucking gorgeous. And I will be talking about the history of the locations, I will also be going around the places that um, that are around the the concert venue location. So you're going to be getting a lot of cool and very unique tourist things from Finland. And it's not going to be like, you know, hey, this is, you know, the place you've always seen. And this is the place we're always at. It's going to be very unique locations. And a testament to that is the fact that I had no idea any of these places existed, well, except obviously the one that is here, because that is the monument of Tuska Open Air, but uh, all of the other places, honestly, I never knew they existed in Finland, so they're going to be really cool. So each show is going to have a roughly, you know, about 45 minutes of, n of, a, of a metal band concert. It's going to have about 15 minutes of me introducing a lot of cool different places, and all of it is... Um, is basically movie quality. All of it is music. Uh, music video to movie quality. The director is, uh, is a dude called Taku Koskela, who has produced some of the biggest productions Finland has ever done, both TV and movie and documentary. We have Semi Live, who did the whole concert production. As you can see in the, in the picture below and soon in the trailer, there's pyrotechnics, there's fucking everything. And no, it's not just Helsinki, not just Helsinki. It's all around Finland. These three episodes are spanning from Helsinki to, uh, you know, ha the, the middle of Finland. And if this will get, you know, if this will be continued next year. And mind you, you, all of you will make sure this will go on next year. Because it's 100% relying on the, on the viewing, basically. On the ratings and the viewings. So hopefully everyone out there, you will all get your tickets very early to this. So that we will make sure that this continues next year. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is basically the whole idea and the concept uh, behind Tuska Utopia. Obviously, it goes without saying that Tuska, the whole Tuska organization, has planned this out. And I have to give a big shout out to them because this is a very, very, very unique concept that no one has ever done uh, in Finland before. Honestly, it's a very cool concept. And obviously, a big shout out to Semi Live for doing this so incredibly. Uh, a shout out to Taku, the director, to all of the filming crew to all of the crew doing this and behind this it's an absolute fucking pleasure doing this and being uh, a part of this and ladies and gentlemen I will address the Kimball's question which is can you name the bands unfortunately no I can't name all of the bands but the first band has been announced and ladies and gentlemen it is the incredible the amazing the chart topping Turmion Kätilöt straight out of Kuopio Finland I have seen uh, some of the videos 
from the show. And ladies and gentlemen, it is incredible. It is fucking incredible. If you still don't realize where this is filmed, it's filmed inside the gas container, which is in the middle of the Tuska open area. A Tuska open air area. It's the big fucking thing that looks kind of like a roller coaster. This is inside of that. It's the first time anyone is being allowed inside. And it's pyrotechnics. It's fucking incredible industrial metal. And it's all things awesome. And yes, the Kimball, thank you so much for saying this. Yes, you will get your tickets from semilive.fi. And once again, it's going to go in the same way as uh, the Lost Society stream show. You can buy your tickets basically whenever. You can buy them now or you can buy them up till the 13th of November. It's going to be Friday the 13th, ladies and gentlemen, which this time is not going to be a scary or eerie date. It's going to be a cool-ass fucking date. You're going to buy your tickets. You will watch this. It'll be streaming on the 13th of November. You can see the the, the time uh, the time codes and everything because I don't remember the exact time. But it's going to be, um, you know, it's going to be convenient for everyone. And for those of you who it's not convenient for, guess what? You will be able to watch it for the next 48 hours if you buy your tickets right now. And even after that, it's going to be streaming on, uh, on the website for uh, an X amount of time. I don't remember what the time is but anyways ladies and gentlemen i urge all of you to go to semilive.fi right now and buy your tickets for the turbion catalet episode and for all of the episodes that will be coming out or actually sorry i kind of misled you you can't buy your tickets to the other episodes yet but i really really suggest you getting your tickets to this one because it's fucking incredible and all of them are honestly all of them are because if you think I'm fucking weird on these streams, just wait until you fucking see uh, Tuska Utopia. So last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, I uploaded uh, the trailer for the first episode. And you're going to see it in uh, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure one time is enough. Literally, I want to watch that again. I don't know. Does, does someone else want to watch that right away again? That was fucking incredible, ladies and gentlemen. That was fucking incredible. Who wants to see that again? A show of hands or a show of flames in the fucking comment field. That looked goddamn incredible. Yeah, honestly, I'm not going to even wait for you to put your flames and emojis and stuff. Let's watch that again. Yeah, that looks fucking incredible. So, ladies and gentlemen, as it said, uh, as it said on the video, it's going to be Friday, the thirteenth of November. It's going to be premiering on semilive.fi. You can buy your tickets right away, ladies and gentlemen. You can get your tickets right away. And uh, honestly, like uh, I kind of gave you the whole concept, the whole idea, but I must add to it that honestly, this is exactly the kind of program that I would fucking watch because I kind of I had the the pleasure of growing up with MTV Headbangers Ball and fucking you know Mad Ventures in Finland Yurki stuff like that just Finland has always had a knack for doing cool TV shows that uh, run around music or touristy things and this show this concept this format has perfectly collided both of these worlds and honestly from the moment I got the kind of sales pitch and they asked me to host it I was like fuck yeah I'm gonna do it fuck yes I'm gonna do it and you know after I heard the first bands after I heard the locations and stuff I was like yeah this is gonna be cool and uh, as I said honestly half of the places we went to I had no idea they even existed so I got you know I got pictures from all over the fucking country I was like yeah this is cool this is cool and this is gonna be huge and um, 
uh, you know, I mean, I'm so stoked that we finally announced it. I finally got to announce that I'm the host of this. And uh, Torbjörn Katilat on the first episode is going to be Friday the 13th, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, you can get your tickets fucking right away. You can get them right Oh Wait! The Kimball, uh, that is a great question. You've met the Katilat guys. Tell us some cool stories. Honestly, these are the craziest and the nicest guys in Finland. Like, without a doubt. They are so fucking nice, honestly. I mean, they obviously, they look scary, and everyone might have, like, I uh, you know, an idea of them before you meet them, but they are just so hilarious. You know, they, they don't take things too seriously. They have a good time. They love what they do. They still always maintain the really professional attitude towards everything they fucking do. And, uh, you know, they're just so heartfelt people from Kuopio. Everyone from Kuopio is fucking incredible. And live, they are, they are a class act. They are a fucking class act. Uh, one particular story comes to mind uh, from uh, a festival in Pori called Poris, uh, Poris Fere, Poris Pere, that we played together like fucking, I think it was 2015, maybe 2014. And uh, these guys were headlining. These guys were headlining the, uh, the the festival. We had played earlier. We were getting super fucking drunk, and we were watching side stage. And, um, you know, during their show, we were like, you know what? Let's fucking do something cool. So we found, like, a couple of rolls of toilet paper, and we fucking mummified ourselves. It was m- myself and Iro, our uh, photographer, video- videographer dude. And we just mummified ourselves, and we ran to the show, and, you know, we had a good time. We probably stage-dived or some shit like that. And, it, yeah, it was just, it was incredible. It was incredible. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any other questions related to Tuska Utopia or, uh, or you know, Semi Live or the whole kind of thing? Don't get me wrong, you know, uh, I'm not going to answer a question related to what are the other bands because that I am not allowed to tell you. That you have to wait. That you have to wait. But I pre- I'm pretty, I'm pretty, actually pretty sure they will announce the bands pretty soon. So, anyway. Uh, do you remember taking part in 100 Guitars from Hell? That concept is also interesting. That was one of the coolest experiences of my fucking life. One of the coolest things, without a doubt. 100 guitars from all over the world and five uh, kind of group leaders. It was myself. It was Alex Elijo, obviously, who conducted the whole thing. It was um, Kiev on Herton. It was Tommy from EMG Pickups, a fucking legend. It was Timo Kamerainen, and it was Archie. And it was one of the coolest things ever. Absolutely, one of the coolest things ever. Pori mainit tutorialle. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Pori is awesome. I love Pori. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we are one minute, um, one minute before um, hitting a new hour. Fucking new hour. It's been one half hour right now. It's been a half hour that we have done this already, and actually, that's actually perfect because I have two major subjects that we're going to be dealing with today, and we are going to be ending the Tuska Utopia kind of portion of the episode in three, two, one... Okay, the hour didn't change, but for argument's sake, let's say it is now 7 o'clock finish time, which means 6 o'clock CET. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Tuska Utopia. That was the idea and the format of Tuska Utopia. We are going to go on with the show. We are going to go on with the show. Does anyone have a little clue of what might happen next? What might fucking happen next? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a picture and I'm going to leave it on the screen, and then I'm going to disip- disappear for just a moment. Got to disappear in just a moment. Let me take my in-ears off right now. Going to take my in-ears off, and I'm going to put a, uh, going to put one of my Sammy Jams on, and then I'm going to disappear for a moment, and then I will reappear. I will fucking reappear. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a picture uh, that I just copied off of my Instagram. It was taken on the 7th of February. The 7th of February. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very happy Sammy Albana who just fell in love on the 7th of February 2020. Before the coronavirus, before we started twitching, before a lot of stuff. Let's see what might happen. Here we go. Look at that fucking happy son of a bitch. Let's put a happy ep- a happy uh, Sammy Jam on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, who's ready to see this? (laughs) 
Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Oh my fucking god, honestly, yesterday I was going to cry when I played this for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome the newest addition to my family, the Phoenix. <laughs> Oh dear God, honestly, I'm getting fucking chills. I'm getting chills while playing this. Let me just go a bit further because this is so goddamn big, this guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I promised all of you that we would be able to uh, that we would be able to name this thing together. But honestly, the name of the product is almost so good that I think I'm going to just name this the Phoenix. Honestly, I mean it's it's an LTD 1000 Deluxe Phoenix by uh, by ESP Guitars, obviously. And honestly, I just feel like this is the Phoenix. It's the Phoenix. Is that okay with all of you? <laughs> Fuck yes, yeah, and hell yeah, brain dead John, absolutely getting super fucking ghosty vibes off of this. <laughs> Fuck yes. And uh, to answer the Kimball's uh, question, why do I love this guitar? I think that's actually a perfect theme. It's a perfect way of conducting the, the whole kind of... Um the whole conversation about why this guitar is so amazing. Why I love this. I'm going to give you three reasons why I love this. Number one, look at this fucking thing. Look at this fucking thing. It's the vintage creamy white um, look and finish on it, which honestly just appeals to me. It really appeals to me because um, I am a lover of vintage guitars. In my opinion, vintage guitars ha you know, are some of the fucking most beautiful things. You know, old Les Pauls, old Telecasters, old, old uh, Stratocasters, stuff like that. And I've always loved the idea of a Firebird and Thunderbird. And the moment I saw this in Musa Mama in, uh, in February, as you can see, I was a happy son of a bitch. And I decided that, yeah, I got to get this. But what sealed the whole thing for me was when I picked this up in February and I, and I played this. That actually, this is one of the best necks I've ever fucking played. It's one of the best fucking necks I've ever played, actually. And, you know, one of the cool things is that you have you have this massive cutaway here, which which uh, kind of, it, it gives you the access. It gives you the easy access. It's perfect for getting up to the high frets. And as I've said so many times, I've, you know, I, I kind of stopped playing the, the, the Super Strat models or the ones with Floyd Roses because the, the bridge of the Les Paul or the Eclipse was so perfect for me because my hand is all the time a bit higher than, you know, it's a bit higher than if I had a Floyd Rose. So you know what the brilliant thing is? This has the exact same bridge as uh, all of my Eclipse guitars. It's, it's a bit higher than everything else. So for me, the right hand is working perfectly and 
the left hand is working perfectly. And this has a different scale to uh, to the Eclipses, which is actually cool because it also will, it's a perfect guitar. I'm going to keep it in drop uh, A sharp. Right now it's in drop C because uh, uh, I got it from the factory drop C. But I'm going to have this in drop A sharp, which is actually going to be perfect because it has a bit of a longer scale. It ha I think it has a Stratocaster scale. So it's actually going to be easier to do the drop A sharp without, you know, the strings being as kind of, as, um, as loose as when you're doing it on an eclipse. And that was, that was kind of two reasons, but a million reasons. That was two reasons. So let's say the last reason is, uh... No, nah, it, nah, it's just, it's going back to number one. Look at this fucking thing. So anyways, I'm going to go uh, briefly, I'm going to say this has the same pickups that all of my guitars do. It's uh, it's the EMG H2 pickups. And look at these gorgeous EMGs, honestly. This is the first time I've seen golden EMGs, and honestly, they are gorgeous. They are fucking gorgeous. It's got, uh, it's got the coil tap action going around here. This is actually, this does nothing. It doesn't have anything on it. It's a dummy that I put together. And, you know, you got your pickup switch, uh, your three-way pickup sli uh, switch. It's 22 frets and, you know, gold hardware. It's got, its, you know, the, the locking tuners, obviously, which are just a lifesaver when you're changing strings and when you're playing, stuff like that. And uh, I'm officially fucking in love, ladies and gentlemen. I am fucking in love. So uh, who wants to hear it in action? Because it's in drop C right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do some, uh, maybe do some, uh, maybe do some artificial for all of you. How about that? How about some artificial, ladies and gentlemen? Mind you, ladies and gentlemen, after we are finished at half past, which is in 20 minutes, I'm going to be switching over to Instagram, and I'm going to be doing an Instagram live, a random shred sesh. Once again, random shred sesh. And uh, let's see. Have you already put the MMO2 live preamp? Yeah, sorry, I forgot to say that. Once again, yes, it's the H2 pickups with the Alexi live preamp on it. They all come with that because, uh, well, we asked for those. And that's, that's the way we fucking rumble. So uh, let's go ahead. We're going to do a couple of Lost Society songs, and then I'm going to do just some random, uh, random doodling and maybe answer any questions that you might have. And after that, I will be ending this Twitch stream, and I will be continuing on Instagram. Now let's do some artificial, ladies and gentlemen.
wants another one right off the fucking top. Who wants another one? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that sounds fucking bad ass, ladies and gentlemen. That is one of the bad asses things. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Sorry about the little tease. I'm not going to be playing Into Eternity for all of you right now. Uh, yeah, so that sounds fucking incredible. Got to block it just a bit because uh, because of these. For, for those of you, by the way, who have always seen pictures of, uh, especially in the studio, uh, when we have like small kind of foam underneath the strings it's exactly to prevent because you know when you don't have it you can do sh shit like this you hear all of this you hear all of that so uh, so when you when you do that when you put the foam underneath it it actually stops it from doing that so that's why because very many times i hear people uh, or people comment 
on pictures, especially from the studio. Like, why do you have the foam underneath the strings? That's why. <laughs> Because I've been playing Eclipse guitars, uh, which have the pickup selector here for so long. That's so fucking weird to change it from here now. So, hey, anyways, we got a good 10 minutes left. And I'm going to spend that last 10 minutes uh, showing a couple of rhythm techniques, uh, rhythm practice techniques for Julian Millet right now. And for anyone out there who plays guitar or, you know, you know gives a shit. So, anyways, um, if you want to really kind of... Um, pursue rhythm playing and build up your rhythm playing you're gonna have to build up obviously both of your hands both of your hands are equally important for this thing and I'm almost going to tell you uh, to go these three steps I'm gonna give you three steps and I think they're actually they make a lot of sense whilst, once you've started to do it number one always gonna be my number one it's going to be my uh, or I'm not not saying my practice but the chromatic uh, the chromatic one two three four four three two one practice which is always going to be the <laughs> You're going to be doing that, and I'm going to give you, um, start off with 50 BPM on the metronome, 50, then build it up to 70, and then build it up. If you want to go higher, then you can go higher, but build it up annoyingly slow, so that it's going to be like, you're like, oh, okay, you're looking at the clock every time you fucking play one note, you're like, oh my god, when is this fucking going to stop? That's going to be the basis for the whole operation because you're going to be teaching yourself the, the perfect control between right and left hand. You're going to know what happens and where your left hand is while you pick every note with your right hand. Because, uh, you know, there's so many guitarists out there who don't really know what the position they are in is in at all times so you know if you if you if someone who doesn't really know what they're doing who doesn't have perfect control if they play a solo it's gonna be like <laughs> and the problem that many people always think is like oh you know that guy fucking sucks he doesn't know how to play guitar but the truth is that usually the the problem is that you, both of your hands are equally good they're equally fast but you're not your um uh, the the kind of um the balance isn't there, and you're not controlling the left hand with your right hand, but you're just kind of, it's in chaos. It's Both of them are equally kind of out there. So you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to do that to the point that you can have your eyes closed and you go through the whole fretboard without looking. You'll know exactly what string you have to pick at what point. Um, number two, so that's going to be the first step. The second step is building up your right hand. So as I said, you're going to have your metronome. We're going to say, you know, uh, let's do it actually 40 BPM, 50 BPM, and 60 BPM. You go every time you feel like you've nailed it. Let's say you'll do half an hour of each of these. You'll do half an hour. If you don't have the time, then do just one of them or two of them if you have the time. So uh, imagine you have your, uh, your metronome at 40 BPM right now. All you're going to do is palm mute and you're going to play the first string, the, the, the thickest string. And what you want to notice, what you want to see, and what you want to pay attention to is that each strike is as powerful. There's The dynamics are that you have everything sounds exactly the same. And obviously the second one is timing. You're going to want to want to have it as tight as possible during those metronome beats. And uh, it's actually it, one thing that you can do is, for example, when it's a 40 BPM metronome, the, the beats come very, uh, very slowly. So what you can do is double it. Every time you double up uh, the number, it's going to be the same, but it's just double clicks. So maybe put it to 80 or, you know, something like that. So it's, it's, it's a bit simpler. <laughs> And 
And once again, when you feel like that is going well, then you can go to do something that I've done quite a bit, actually. And it's ba actually it's based off of a drum practice that many drummers do where they beat they do like four strikes for every uh every tom that they have so it's like and what i do with the guitar is basically i could just go So what I'm doing now is I'm just doing the same thing. Obviously, that was the fr fast version, and you have to start with the slower version. But you're basically just playing each of the of the of the strings, but you're not allowed to hit the other strings while you do it. You have to have the perfect control, and that's why you obviously start doing it with this tempo. <laughs> If you want, you can, you know, you can mute the string after each, uh, after each note. So it's like. You know, you can do stuff like that. And, you know, you can also do it with, uh, with alternate picking at some point if you want. So it can be like. Uh, And all of this is towards building up the, the perfect control between right and left hand. So that was uh, step number two. So number one is the chromatic thing, which is building both hands. Um, second step is building up your right hand. And third step, obviously, will be building up your left hand. So what you want to do, I'm going to give you just directly one good practice, actually. I'm going to give you one good practice. And it's fucking practicing a riff from Master of Puppets. Sounds fucking douchey as hell, but that is a good riff because basically uh, I'm a, I'm in drop C right now. I'm gonna keep it drop C. But what you're gonna do? Is just loop the fuck out of that because you're using all of your four fingers that are uh, that are you know mainly playing your thumb I'm not counting that in right now but you know it's the it's you have your index finger it's your uh, your ring I mean your middle finger it's your ring finger and your pinky so you're using all of them And honestly, like, people give Metallica a hard time so often, but that is a perfect riff to practice uh, rhythm playing. Fucking look at James Hatfield. And once again, you're going to start as slowly as possible, and slowly and gradually you'll build it up. I mean, obviously, I started off like... <laughs> then gradually, you know, I mean, I can do this... Although I wouldn't do this because this doesn't sound in any way like a good idea. But, you know, at some point you'll be able to do this with your eyes closed. I mean, it, it doesn't take you anywhere. But the idea is that it's building up your stamina, building up your uh, control with the right and left hand. Because that's what guitar playing is all about. You have to have the perfect control between your both hands. And it's, it's kind of like piano playing in a way that, you know, you can play piano and your left hand is playing the rhythm and your right hand is playing the lead, which always blows me the fuck away. That's one of the many reasons why I respect uh, piano players so much, because they have perfect, um, perfect balance and they have perfect... Um, why the fuck don't I remember the word that I'm looking for right now? It's just the, 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 the fucking... Um, uh, don't remember what the word is, but it's it's just when you know you can your brain is telling your right and left hand exactly what they should do, and sometimes they'll be doing completely different things, but you'll know exactly where they are and you'll still be in control, perfect in control. Last but not least, to block Ari, how fast can you down pick? Let's fucking see. Let's see. I haven't warmed up, so we'll. <laughs> and who's counting? I don't know how to count how fast this is, but. <laughs> That's right now, but if it's a riff, it could be different.
Could be better, could be worse. I don't fucking know. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a great fucking episode. We covered Tuska Utopia. We covered the new guitar, the Phoenix, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we are going to be ending things right now on Twitch. And I will be going on uh, Instagram. I'm going to be doing an Instagram live in about a couple of minutes. Going to have a glass of water and then I'm going to start it up. So I will see all of you there. And for... Those of you who don't care about Instagram Live, I will see you tomorrow once again. Tomorrow is a Thursday, I think. Yeah, tomorrow's a Thursday. I'll be here once again at 5.30 p.m. CET, which is 6.30 finish time. And uh, around the world, it could be whatever. I don't fucking know, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for a great episode. I love you all. And I'm really, I really hope, Julia Millet, that that helped you in some way. We will continue some other time. But hey, thank you so much. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. See you on Instagram in just a moment.